Hey guys, what's up? I am the Spyro Tree, and welcome back to another video of Spyro the Dragon. Here we are, back again at Artisan Homeland. And we are gonna do a next level. Let's do the level that is around the maze area, which is Dark Hollow. So let's enter Dark Hollow, and uh, we'll continue our Spyro the Dragon journey. <coughs> Alright. By the way, I love the atmospheric music of freaking Spyro. So in this world, it's frogs are getting back. Also, whenever they pull up their shields, it's obviously that you cannot flame them since you know it's metal. You know, see right there. Just to show you the example. And we have already a chest. The big dudes you can never uh, run down, so you always need to flame them. Can light these campfires? I don't know. I don't know if they do something just yet, but we'll see, I guess. As I've been saying, it's been a really long time since these games, you know. Gem up here. Some gems up there as well. Well, that was a fail of a jump on my part. Jesus. Sometimes I'm an idiot. Sometimes. And we got another life. We haven't lost a uh, life yet. Um, I'm wishing to keep that very long. Because I don't want to lose them lives just yet. And we have a... Ascudarius, alright. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. I think I already figured it out, my dude. And already we have a return home sign. But we still have some things to find. So yeah, this world is very small at first hand. We can go down here. Alright, so it looks like you cannot flame them from the front. But from the back, you can. Those fat asses. Move, fat ass. And we see a key right there. That was not really meant to happen. But alright, I guess. So we have the key now. Camera, please. Please, camera, please. Alright, rescued Oswin. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Is that really a secret though? Uh, anyway, let me just check real quick. Yeah, 102 out of 3 still. Uh huh. We really wonder where that, where that third one is then. Because now that we have done this area... <laughs> I 
Uh, it's first over here. It's fine. We're back up to full health anyway. Let's open this chest. Then we'll go to the left, of course, where that last dragon is. And the last couple enemies we need to kill. Probably just last. Yeah, the last couple enemies, yeah. Alright. And that's 68. And this is a nice and 100. And the last dragon, which is Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Hurrah. But yeah, I think we now have this world completed. Yes, we do. And it's awesome. So now we can actually move on back to Artisan Homeworld and select the next level. So let's return home. Look at us gem collecting. Look at us. Right, um, I think we can kind of do this level. I think it's a flying level though, if I remember correct. Sunny flight, yeah, it is a flying level indeed. Well, fuck it, let's just go ahead and do that one then. So what we need to do here is we need to destroy all like, these things. It's best to do that way. Have a good reaction timing. Alright, now these uh, airplanes. You just cannot run out of time, that's basically it. Should be the last one. Now we have these rings. It was that last one, so now we need to go back a bit. And now we have one more thing to collect. There's always four things to collect. One more. And now I need to think of. Yeah, I know. It's these chests. And one more. And we are donezo. All four of the things collected. There we go. All the money. Uh, nah, I'm not really gonna try again, so, you know. Let's go back, returning home. That was a very quick level, but those are always quick. But yeah, look at us. Getting a lot of money just from, or a lot of gems rather, from that one level we just did. Okay, so now let's go to think pretty much the last level on this planet. think so. The last normal level at least, which is the one after the elevator. Town Square. <coughs> and I needed to sneeze there. Amazing. All right, so now we have Town Square. Let's see what we have to collect beforehand. Four dragons and 200. Freaking gems, all right. I 
And our first dragon is right here. Welcome to Town Square, Spirit. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bull. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. You're saying that now. Look at those bulls. My dude! My dude! How y'all doing? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, they're stuck in the ground. Then you actually need to kill them. Or else they get loose, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they get loose. Uh, these things, I do know, I think you need to flame it and then jump to get it. Yeah. yeah see, you guys, I still remember lots and lots of stuff. Um, don't bother just going up there just yet. Not important yet. Free life. That's amazing. And our second dragon already. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Yeah, that's, you know, pretty self-explanatory, really. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, let's save my game, but... That wasn't really the point in doing that now. Alright. I can already hear one of those annoying na 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 na. Now we have chickens. Boo, boo. Alright, have the returning home. Right there. Right, that was a 10. Big fat 10. Rescued Elvar. <laughs> Spider, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief! And he's stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded! Sure... Uh, anyways, we have things to go up there, but we can't yet. For sure, go up here. I think... Yeah, I still remember my stuff correctly, boys. Anyways, let me first grab all the gems before I chase Mr. Thief. Because you can be a real pain in the ass. I want to collect all the gems first. I think he overheat this. And look at that, we're complete with the money. This is the last dragon. Thank you for releasing <laughs> Four. me. Was that really Thor Odinson? Thank you for releasing me. What a pussy. Anyways, we have completed this rule, right? Yeah, you just need the egg. Let's go down that way pretty quickly. He's really back up there, isn't he? I hate that guy, man. Like, this is such an annoying freaking. Now we have to go this way. Uh, see, he's all the way. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, we got him easily though, but still, you know, that's fucking annoying. Just trying to casually chase him. Chase him. You know, and the bitch runs away. And then just jumps back up where I cannot jump up. It's annoying anyways, let's return home. So yeah, that is that level really easily complete. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have done all the levels in here. I think this mount is open up now. Yeah. Toasty. Let's get in, Toasty. This is our fourth level already in this episode. And this is a boss level. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, I remember the enemies in this world, it's so annoying. So yeah, we get toasty, 100 gems, one dragon. I remember this level now. I definitely remember this fucking level. Those dogs are hella annoying. That's what I know. And since this is a boss level, there are barely any free room enemies to, you know, get your health back up with. You just need to spam circle and you can get them very easily. Come on, I hit him. I only have one more hit left. Which is not the best. Come on! See, that's what I mean. And now we need, actually need to run over this. Is hella annoying. I'll just run away real quick. <laughs> no! Also, give me one second. My game sound is hurting me right now. Jesus Christ, why is it so loud? I was not expecting dogs to be there, like, at all. Like, I cannot get hit anymore, or I lose my first life. Please let her be a sheep. Please let her be a sheep. A sheep or something. Something to give my health back, please. It's Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. So we rescue the dragon. And we can save the game. Look at Toasty, my man. Look at Toasty, what a fake nerd. Ah! I'm scared. I'm scared, boys!
Well, alright then, that was toasty, I guess. And we didn't lose our life. Look at us go, boys. We defeated the first boss. We got everything. And we didn't lose a life. I love it. Love it. So now we are returning home. From first world totally done, we have a thousand total treasure, which is really nice. So uh, first off, let me get Sparks back, my boy Sparks. Come on, stupid sheep. Oh, right, Sparks is back up. Yay. But yeah, now that we have this world absolutely defeated, we can go to this dude right here. We could already go to him because he said that he needed 10 dragons, remember? Well done, Spyro! I didn't think you could do it. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Well, we've done everything in this world, so let's go to Peacekeeper's. Anyways, but before we further explore this world, we will go ahead and end this episode off. I hope you all enjoyed this second episode of Spyro the Dragon. We did a lot in this episode. But yeah, I will be seeing you guys all in the next episode for more Spyro the Dragon.